If I say Africa, what comes to mind? Impressive waterfalls. East Africa's great wildlife migration. And the customs of the primitive tribes. But in reality, Africa, as the cradle of humanity, rich in culture and history, is so much more. Li Anshan is a professor at the Institute of Research in Asia-Africa Relations in the Institute of International Relations of the University of Beijing. He is also director of the Center of African Research and the Association of Researchers in Sino-African History. Li Anshan has been for a number of years fully dedicated to research and teaching of African history. 西非实际上是一个很重要的文明区，像加纳、马里、上海这些早期王国，是起源于公元前一六四二年荷兰的外交使团访问刚果王国的时候，他们这个代表团全部是匍匐在地。In China, you would have had to wait until 1793 to witness such a scene when English diplomat George McCarthy knelt in front of Emperor Qianlong. In order to better document the history of Africa, UNESCO selected a number of historians and scholars from all over the world to write a series of articles entitled General History of Africa. Lian Shan, as the only Asian expert in African history chosen for the drafting of Volume 9, participated in the work of the International Scientific Committee. So how do we make a statement of the history of 看待非洲历史,非洲文化,我觉得这我们应该尽自己的责任。In 2015, former Secretary General of the United Nations, Kofi Annan, visited the University of Beijing. The university then gave him Lian Shan's thesis, translated into English. 当时他是比较惊讶的,但是中国学者还有研究我们国家的,对我也是一个鼓舞吧。Due to the continuous growth of Chinese investment in Africa, more and more Chinese enterprises are setting up on the continent. How do they manage to blend in? An African proverb says, alone you go faster, but together we go farther.